Hi, welcome to Net Gets Creative. I'm Jeanette. Here we are working on our sewing roll. So what I'm going to work on now is a little pocket to put inside. So I've got a piece of felt, measured it to size, and now I'm just going to take some scraps. I want to use the um, felt as a base and I want to put some material on top to create the pocket. So I'm just going to pin it down, trim off that little bit of an edge there, just because my material was slightly smaller. So what I'm thinking of doing is making a fold up pocket with a little tiny flap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use machine cotton and I'm just going to sew around the edges and attach the material to the base felt. Of course I have a knot in my thread. It's always a good way to start. So I'm just going to do a running stitch around the four edges. That way I can get rid of the pins and I can move on to the decorating of the pocket. So quick around the corners here. So hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having fun with your sewing and roll. I'm a little slow getting started, but I'm having a good time creating. My mind is just full of ideas. We'll see how many of those ideas actually get put into place. So what I'm going to do here is, if you remember from last week's video, the outside of my sewing roll had some sunflower fabric, which is this fabric. And this was a little scrap that was left over. So I thought I would fussy cut around the um, sunflower pattern and see if I could find a little spot on the front of this pocket for the sunflower. So just cutting around. I kept both of the flowers together, um, but they are quite big and you'll see that I only end up using one, but I didn't want to not have both as an option first, but you can see it would be too big. Had to try, right? So I cut away the smaller one and I center it on the front of this pocket. So there we go. Pin that down in the middle. Just see how my flap lines up. It lines up great. And now what I'm going to do is going to run this little piece of lace down as some um, added interest. Fold it over the top, run it around to the back, and give it a trim. I tuck it under my lace. And then I'm going to get some sewing machine cotton, and I'm going to sew down the lace. So here you can see sewing on the decorative lace on the edge. Just wanted to point out the lovely little pin cushion that you can see to the left of my screen there. My friend um, created it for me and I thought I would show it off because it's really cute. Um, I recently got my friend into slow stitching and she's loving it. And this is one of the projects that she saw from watching some videos and some Instagram stuff that caught her eye so she created one of these for my birthday. So thank you Lisa if you're watching because sometimes I know you do. Your pin cushion is now famous. It's going to sit in my videos. So yep just sewing down my lace and then I'm going to come down and sew down the white piece of lace so that it's all tacked down. I'm hoping that maybe I will be able to keep some of this sunflower theme throughout my sewing roll. So hopefully using a little bit of these uh, sunflower accents here and there to try to tie it all together. 
So just doing a second row of stitch on my lace edge here. Just because I had a little bit of extra thread, I thought I would go up, uh, across it a second time. Not off my edge. And then I'm going to sew down the length of this piece of lace just with a running stitch. When I get to the end, I'm just going to fold it over and stitch it down so that I have a nice finished edge. So there we go, right to the edge. A little roll it over. Stitch it down, and you don't need to watch the other way. I will sew down the other edge while I'm off video. I've tacked down the sunflower with just kind of a hidden stitch, and now I've pulled out some embroidery floss that kind of matches the color of the yellows and the golden colors in the sunflower. And I've just got full six strands and I'm just going to make some long and short stitches over top of the colors that are on the sunflower. So my intention is to embroider the in full um, sunflower with the golden yellow colors, with lighter yellow colors, and then in the middle I want to do a series of French knots. So this is a time-consuming process. It's not a short process. It takes a long time. So I'm just going to take a few moments to show you how I get started and then I will go off screen and finish it up and there'll be some photos at the end of this video to show you the finished product. So I know that lots of gals when I watch them they call it um, you know painting the fabric. You're using your embroidery floss to mimic to kind of copy what the artist has created on the fabric. So you'll see that I'm just using the golden color to make lines similar to what's already there. I will show you a close-up here shortly just to give you a sense of what I'm doing. I will switch colors here shortly and show you the lighter color and how I will put the two colors together to create the petals of the sunflower. It's a neat way to give it some interest and it definitely gives a lot of texture especially once I put in the French knots in the middle of the sunflower. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll stick with me and see what other additions I add on to my sewing roll. So once this one is finished, come back next week, you'll see where I add it, and I will start another piece to add to the inside. So I hope you're all well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy stitching. Bye.